Several developments today in the investigation of the roller coaster accident that killed a Dallas woman. The medical examiner's office released its report on the death of Rosa Ayala Goana, known to her family as Rosie Esparza. The CEO of Six Flags hosted an investor conference call this morning from the Arlington Park and offered condolences to the victim's family. Meanwhile, inspections are being conducted on similar rides at Six Flags parks in other states, but in Texas, the state will not be conducting the inspections of the Texas giant. Melissa Cutler's first on Fox 4 at Six Flags in Arlington with a look at how the process will be handled. Melissa. Well, Rich, you know, this is a copy of the Texas Department of Insurance's records of rides, and it includes the Texas Giant, and it shows that there's no ongoing issues with that ride, safety or otherwise, and it shows that the next time this ride is slated to be inspected would be 2014. Now, the ride is closed, and it'll stay that way for the foreseeable future, as inspectors for both Six Flags and the German roller coaster maker are in North Texas to answer the question on everyone's mind, what went wrong to cause the death of 52-year-old Rosa Esparza of Dallas, and was the lap restraint properly secured? Today, the coroner ruled that she died of multiple traumatic injuries occurred from the fall from the 14-story roller coaster on that roller coaster track is where she landed. Trial lawyers familiar with amusement park ride litigation questioned the wisdom of having insurance companies being the ones who conduct such in inspections, kind of like the fox guarding the hen house. The insurance department requires that the ride operator's insurance company provide a inspection once a year and gives them a certificate. Now, th does that sound safe to you? According to the Texas Department of Insurance, the, gi the uh, Texas giant cannot reopen until it passes a new safety inspection by a certified inspector or qualified engineer. Each ride must have at least $1 million in bodily injury insurance at the park. After those thresholds are met, that is gener generally when the rides are cleared and open to the public. Rich? Melissa, so there's no federal nor state oversight on such rides. What role does the Department of Insurance play in this? Well, you know, what they will do was, will be make sure that there is a certification in place. And the thinking is, is that the insurance company have a lot at stake. They have a lot of financial uh, obligations at stake, meaning that if these uh, rides fail inspections, you know, they have a lot of money at stake, so they will likely make sure that these rides are up to snuff so that they could save money. It's kind of the way the free market works, if you will. The question is, since this park will decide uh, you know, how these inspections are conducted, it's very possible that we may not know ever what caused this accident because the park is under no legal obligation to provide it. Now, news media can ask for a hearing to get these inspections made public, but whether that is uh, whether that is approved and that moves forward, that's anyone's guess. Rich, thank you, Melissa Cutler in Arlington. As we mentioned earlier, there are inspections of similar roller coaster rides being conducted at Six Flags parks in other states. This morning in Atlanta, for example, state safety inspectors examined the Superman Ultimate Flight Ride at Six Flags over Georgia. The ride was previously inspected in March, again in May, as state inspectors followed up on a handful of maintenance issues.